Race 4 of the BMW IBSF 4-man bobsay World Cup. We're in rainy Winterberg in Germany. Brad Hall of Great Britain with his four-man crew. Winners last time out in Lake Placid in America. Only sixth position after the first heat despite a second fastest getaway. They went even quicker in the second run and Brad tidied up the first four corners of the track that had cost him so much time in the first heat. Good speed down the ice despite the wet weather. And Hall was looking determined to try and move up towards the medal positions. He'd had two silver medals in the last two outings in Winterberg and took the lead away with five sleds remaining. In fifth after the first heat was Germany's Johannes Lochner, three times a four-man winner on this track and the man who took the two-man gold on Saturday. Another strong start from his crew, but he gave away four of the precious 500s lead that he had over Brad Hall. Would he get them back? It was pretty much even at the Kreisel, and Lochner had better speed, but that drifted away down the track. He never quite managed to close the gap. Rocking and rolling from 13 to 14, he would go behind. Hall led, but there were still four sleds to go. 100th quicker than Lochner, and 600s ahead of Hall in the first heat, Switzerland's Mickey Vogt. Michel Vogt looking for his first medal of the season. He's been knocking on the door, led in Lake Placid, only to slip down the order. And here, he never quite got level with the British crew either. They started 500s back. His best result here, a seventh place finish in the past, and he was on target to beat that, even if he didn't hold the lead. Dropping behind Lochner and Brad Hall, he lay in third place with three to go. Second place after the first run was Germany's Christoph Harfer. By this stage, Marcus Treichel, who had been third fastest, had also dropped behind Brad Hall. Hall's run the fastest of the competition to this stage. Harfer, with two bronze medals in Park City and Lake Placid, was a force to be reckoned with, particularly as a German driver on a track he knows well. And he was always within touching distance. But the speed just wasn't there lower down the track. And those few hundreds grew with a few more and a few more. Third best speed, he too would drop behind Brad Hall and Johannes Lochner. The final sled and the first heat leader, Francesco Friedrich, jogging alongside the sled, struggling with an adductor injury. Torsten Margis, Candy Bauer and Alex Schuller still pushed him to the third fastest start of the competition. And once you give this man a lead anywhere, and especially on a track where he's already a seven-time winner, he is going to be dangerous. And Francesco Friedrich proved once more that if you give him a top 10 start, he will give you a gold medal. It looked in little doubt, despite a couple of rocky moments lower down, he had victory on the track. His eighth win, his 25th World Cup four-man gold medal, his 44th in total in the discipline. Friedrich, Hall and Lochner, the top three. And it will have to be another day for Harfer, Vogt and Treichel. Friedrich extends his lead at the top of the World Cup rankings as we head to his home track of Altenburg for two weeks of racing before the World Championships in San Moritz.